Now, be honest, 737, have you ever sent a quick text message while waiting at the traffic lights or perhaps called home while stuck in a traffic jam? Despite it being illegal to use your mobile phone behind the wheel, many people still risk a fine and points on their license. Yes, uh, most people agree it's not safe to talk uh, on a handheld mobile phone while driving, nine out of ten. But a fifth admit that they have held a mobile phone while either driving or waiting at lights. So is it a cultural problem of some sort then? A survey today suggests that more than a third of people actually feel obliged to answer a mm. call, text or email while they're behind the wheel. In a moment we're going to talk to a psychologist about what makes people so attached to their phones and get legal advice from a leading solicitor. But first, we asked you why so many seem to be flouting the law. Once a week, twice a week, you see people driving with a, a phone to the rear, you know. I mean, what amazes me, people can actually turn corners as well, don't they? You know, unbelievable. My grandchildren are out there on those roads and they would very soon get knocked over through somebody's irresponsible behaviour. Whether they're talking into a speakerphone or whether they're doing a quick text message, you know, they're thinking about going and picking up their kid, but they're not thinking about other people's children. I know from bitter experience myself in the past, you, you, you get distracted and you, you, no matter how clever you think you are, you are distracted when you use your mobile phone. End of. With us now, Jeanette Miller, who, a solicitor who specialises in motoring offences, and uh, Mark Beatty, who's a psychologist from Manchester Business School. Good morning, morning. to you both. Morning. Jeanette, let's be clear mm -hmm. about the law. It's been in force for several years yep. now. What can you and can you not do? Well, the offence was first introduced in 2003, but it was fine only then. And then in 2007, the um, legislation was amended so that it became an endorsable offence. So you can get three penalty points. And a For doing what? For being on an interactive communication device, a handheld device. So that can extend not just to mobile phones or smartphones, but to sat-nav devices which require you to hold them or to use them with your fingers, leaving the steering wheel to actually operate them and it's any two-way communication device where you're um, involved in getting it on the internet or receiving or sending communication data it does exclude two-way radio so you're allowed to use your radio and not be, be caught by this hmm. offense and if your phone is on speaker if your phone's on speaker strictly speaking you're committing the offense if you're having to operate it by sending or receiving by using your hands so it, it's not sufficient to use your phone on speaker and yet mark so many people still do it and you know from the numbers of emails texts and our own experience we've hopefully seen, while they're not driving no yeah of <laughs> course um but we all see people on their mobile phones using them with apparent impunity mm -hmm. I think the main reason people do, there are probably several reasons, the primary one is we're mainly social animals. We're driven to spend time with one another, to want to interact. Sat in the car, maybe slightly bored, slightly distracted, it's very easy to think, oh, I'll get in touch with somebody. Then the other main reason people do it is they often underestimate the risk to themselves whilst overestimating the risk for others. So we might be driving along seeing somebody else using their phone and think they're a complete idiot. And how could they possibly do that? It's so dangerous. But when it's us, it's okay, it'll be fine, nothing will happen. Mm. And should you get a call when you are driving along, even if you're by, behind yeah, uh, traffic lights or something like that? Mm -hmm. At what point are you allowed to answer that phone call? If, unless you have a, ha a true hands-free device where you don't have to leave your steering wheel to, mm. to answer it, then you shouldn't answer even if you, if Even if you pull over? You have to have your engine off. So you've to, got to pull over, park yeah. up, switch the engine off? Correct, yeah. Okay. Mark, we've changed people's behaviour when it comes to wearing seat belts. So how can our behaviour, our mindset be changed about the use of mobile phones? I think the first thing is probably a recognition of why there might be a problem. And I don't think many people realise the danger they may face when they're using their mobile phone, be it for texting, phoning or social media. I think they really realise how dangerous it might be. So the first stage is for people to realise what dangers might lie and then what to do about it. So some of the things about the pulling over, turning over off the engine, mm -hmm. using hands-free kits, so provide them with a route of what to do next so not to break the law. So do we need, I mean in, in, these things are expensive aren't they, but a public information campaign, adverts on the television, do you see a lack of that leading to people thinking that it might be something they can get away with. I'm not sure whether that's why uh, or that it's necessarily the best route, but certainly uh, taking a route of, of informing people of what the dangers might be would be a very good start. Uh, how effective it would be to have advertising in that area, I, I don't know. We'd have to look at the, the mm. data. One of the reasons perhaps that so many people are still using their phones while driving is because 
it's so difficult for them to get caught, isn't it? Um, well, it's not difficult. It, it, you only get caught if a police officer yeah. sees you mm -hmm. and then decides to prosecute. Um, I think it, then it can be a problem if you weren't on your phone and the police officer says that they think that you were. But um, yeah, you're not going to get caught on a speed camera and, and be prosecuted for mobile phone use. One of the things that we were talking about earlier is that there was a research study undertaken by um, the Transport Research Authority in London. This is quite frightening and perhaps quite hard hitting. If you're drinking up to the legal limit, then they estimated that your reaction times would be reduced by 12%. Now, they did a similar study with people that were texting whilst driving. Texting. And, yeah, and they said that your reaction time to certain stimuli in that situation would be reduced to 30, by 35%. It's so almost like three times the limit of drinking. Now, not many people would get in the car voluntarily having had three times the limit. So I think education is an issue. Um, I think campaigns could well be needed on something like this, particularly yeah. social media use. All right. Jeanette, Mark, thank you both very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. 7.44. You're watching Breakfast from BBC News. Let's update you on our...